Well, here we are. It's uh, Sunday morning. I think it's gone from eight and a half degrees up to maybe nine. <laughs> Cold water swimming is fantastic for you. It's good for the brain, makes you feel great. I'm not quite sure. Let's go and see. Jai Simper is a true believer. He took the plunge during Melbourne's lockdowns. I jump in and for that first two seconds, it's, oh, I'm in the water now. I'm buzzing for four hours. I'm just invigorated. Something that's very addictive, especially when it's something that doesn't bring any regret afterwards or any negatives. Jai started his cold water club in Melbourne only 10 weeks ago. Being in that cold water essentially helped me forget about my anxieties. And I thought, well, if I get something out of this, I should be sharing this with other people who may also get a positive from this as well. They certainly did. His club now has 62 members. Cold water seems to be contagious. Come out of the water, yes, you're crisp and you're cold, but you're high on endorphins, and so it automatically that lifts the soul. Did this start because of COVID or...? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I, had, I had the blues during COVID, and that's what started me personally. What's the hot, the hot water bottle? This water bottle. after the swim. To we had swimming up our soul, you know? <laughs> we had the hot water bottle, which you put into bucket to warm our feet to thaw them out. So what's the science behind it? Studies have shown that exposure to water between 7 to 11 degrees Celsius can have a range of effects on the body and brain, including increased heart rate, immunity levels, elevated mood, motivation and resilience. Is there an addiction to the feeling you get out of, out of doing it? This cold water exposure is increasing our dopamine levels in our brain and involved in reward, in motivation and in addiction. But the amazing thing with uh, cold water therapy is this level of dopamine is increased for hours afterwards, so it's a very potent effect on the brain. Jai says he was motivated by the loss of two friends to suicide in just two years. He believes cold water is a great antidote to depression. So you do it every day? We're here every day. We're not actually going in here, are we? We are, we are. Really? And, and guess what, it's actually warmer in the water than it is outside, so you're in for a treat. It didn't feel like a treat to me. Ooh. It was the last thing I felt like doing on a cold Sunday morning. I've never been a fan of torturing myself. <laughs> And as you'd expect, it's absolutely freezing. You feel the blood rushing to your extremities and all you can think about is getting out. But as Jai says, it's absolutely invigorating. The longer you're in, it actually doesn't not feel as cold. It feels ahead though, it's amazing. It actually makes you feel completely alive after doing that. So we lasted how long in there? Nine minutes, 36 seconds. And that nine minutes is significant. It represents the nine Australians who die every day by suicide. It is really something that um, the spirit in there among the people in the water is, is not what I expected we were going to witness today. I was sceptical at first, but after a freezing morning in Frankston, I'm convinced there may be something in the water. The colder, the better. So you, you girls have been in your 40s, so when you get to your 60s, <laughs> you're still oh, going to... <laughs> you'll still be doing it when you're 60. I don't think his glasses are working. And go, go a bit older than that, 70s. <laughs> oh, oh, they were great. They were great. you went back yesterday. The cold water crazies, those girls were called. I mean, um, it's not just the cold water, is it? It's about so much more than that. Yeah. Uh, look, yeah. there were 70 people there. And I would say the age bracket, apart from those young women there, were 25 to 35. A lot of young men and a lot of them, or everyone I spoke to said during COVID we really struggled, our mental health was bad, we needed a connection. We needed a connection with somebody to do something and this is what they chose. And, the, and every Sunday they're there, it's fantastic. Yeah. And they're raising money for a charity and it's really good. You love seeing communities come together. Yeah. And I went and did it again yesterday. Yeah, well done. Oh, well, you're in. Yep, I'm done. Sucked in. Maybe next time we won't <laughs> film you all underneath the water. That felt unfair. It's a bit, <laughs> a bit awkward. Yeah, why were you wearing your socks too, by the way? That was Booties, weird. they're called, mate. Booties. <laughs> Is that meant to be better? I don't, I don't, the, the image of Pricey wearing booties. I don't, anyway, moving on. <laughs>